everyone, I'm Caroline Vogler, and we're gonna spend just a few minutes talking about 911 in 2022. So I'm sure your business, like ours, has many employees that are remote, many employees that are in the office, and even more employees that are kind of doing both. They're living this hybrid world. And if you haven't thought about how you are equipping these employees with 911, giving them the ability to reach emergency help when they need it, you need to. And in 2022, it's even more important than ever because you've actually got some regulations that are pushing you to reevaluate your E911 tech stack. As of January 6th of this year, there are regulations that are requiring you to revisit what you're doing to help your employees reach emergency services when they need to. So what's happening this year? There's a specific law called Ray Bombs Act that is now affecting all VoIP users, whether they're on fixed VoIP lines or non-fixed VoIP lines, meaning they're using a cloud-based software solution. Now, what exactly Ray Bombs Act requires is a couple of quick things. So number one, we need to know how we are actually dispatching that location. So when we're making that call, where does that call go to? Does it go to the Raleigh PSAP? Does it go to the Durham PSAP? We're here in Raleigh, North Carolina. So I'm gonna use our own office actually as our example. So for Ray Bombs Act, I need to know not just the address line one, so we're here at 900 Main Campus Drive in Raleigh, I also needed a little bit of extra information. I need an address line two, and this would be a free text field. So this is gonna give public safety a little bit of extra information to help them get to the emergency the fastest. So in this example, we're here in our film lab, so I would give public safety 900 Main Campus Drive film lab. I'm gonna let them know exactly where to go, exactly who and where the help is required. And the second piece of information they need to know is a callback number. And that callback number cannot have an extension on it. Public safety technology cannot read that extension. So what this looks like in practice, instead of offering up a 919-555-1234 extension four, um, I would need to offer up a 919-555-12357, something unique so that they can reach back exactly who has called and asked for help should they get disconnected. Here's a quick example of what that might look like at bandwidth. So this is actually a view of our sales floor. It's a big, wide open space. It is one open room. So in order to make sure that we are providing kind of a safe working experience, we've equipped this one huge space with two callback numbers. So if you are calling from the phone line located in the Northwest corridor, it has a unique phone number. And if you're calling from the phone line that's towards the south end of the building, even though this is a wide room of the space, it also has a unique phone number. So not only can we call back that number and get somebody that's closer to the actual scene of the emergency, it also is able to give public safety a hint as to where they might need to go when they actually come on site and offer up help. So if you're calling from the Northwest Corridor, they know if they get their compass out, they know exactly where to go and get there a little bit faster when every second matters. So you're wondering, okay, I know I need to, I need to examine my 911 tech stack. What do I need to look for? So you've got a few options to comply here. And the first thing you need to make sure you do is just make sure that you've got the right foundation. So because you have workers that are more remote, more dynamic than ever, you need to make sure that the way that you dial 911, the actual network level, um, is able to route based on a dynamic location. So at the time of the call, I am taking and grabbing that location versus something that is more fixed and cannot move your ability to be dynamic with 911 is more critical than ever. Um, and bandwidth can help you make sure that your, your tech stack is set up in this right way. We can offer this kind of capability. The second key thing is to make sure that the software experience that you're providing your facilities, partners, your folks in legal, um, is giving you the right user interface to make sure that you're able to control this in the way that you want to. And the great thing about bandwidth is that we offer a host of partners that can help you comply no matter what your tech stack looks like. So if you've got an Avaya on-premise situation, we've got a partner that can help you there. If you've got you know, a hybrid scenario where you're half on Teams, half on Cisco, we've got partners that can help you with that as well. So no matter what your tech stack looks like, we can help you make sure that your 911 is ready to go in 2022. Thank you so much for your attention and your time. Uh, happy to take any questions as you might have them. Feel free to reach out to Bandwidth at any point. Thanks.